Hi everyone, let's begin production function or we can call it production analysis. So production implies the transformation of input into output. So we can say production function means relationship between input and output. That means what input we are giving and what output we are getting. It is an activity which increases consumer usability of goods and services. The production function is a purely technical relation which relates factor input and output that is transformation of factor input into products at any particular time period. It gives us the maximum amount of output that can be obtained by employing different inputs. So here is y equal to f l k s. We can see here y is output that is output of production and l stands for labor we can say L stands for labor, K stands for capital, S stands for land. So that means these are the inputs. If we will increase the inputs, output will also increase, whether it can be increased or if we are decreasing these inputs, output would also decrease. So here is each production function and the given input output relationship are specified in relation to given unit of time. It is based on the assumption that the state of technology is given and output can be increased by increasing input. Production function changes if technology changes. So there are two kinds of input output relationship. We can say number one is short run production function. Short run production function means input output relation where some input are fixed while other others are inputs are varying so two situations in this context number one production function with one variable input and production function with two variable inputs and long run production function means in the long run distinction between fixed and variable inputs disappear that means nothing is fixed all the input factors are variable so that would be long run production function and here is, before starting this, we would understand total product, average product, marginal product. And we can say probably total volume of goods and services produced. The total product gives the maximum amount of output that can be produced at different levels of one input, assuming that the other input is fixed at a particular level. But we will talk about the average product. So AP here is total product is divided by number of units of the variable factors. And the marginal product means MP is the addition to TP attributes to the addition of one unit of the variable input to the production process. So the fixed input remaining unchanged. Short run production function means when one variable, first we are going to take short run production function with one variable input. So that is based on we can call it law of variable proportion. Also, we can call it law of diminishing marginal returns or law of diminishing marginal productivity. This law explains the behavior of production as the proportion of fixed and variable input is changed by increasing the quantity of the variable factor. And in this, in this, in this particular example, we are taking only one variable is keep on changing. That is labor. The law of variable proportion states that as we use more and more units of some factors of production to work with one or more fixed factors, the marginal product of the variable input will eventually decline. Initially, it will increase and later on it will be declining. I will show with the help of the curve. But before uh, moving towards assumptions of the law, number one is constant technology. That means we are seeing throughout the production, this technology will be changed. We are not shifting to the advanced technology and all that is fixed. So short run is means only one input is variable, rest of the factors are fixed. Production is not of the fixed proportion type. That is, it is possible to vary the proportion in which the various productive services are combined. And homogeneous input means units of the variable factors are identical. That means these are not heterogeneous. These are homogeneous. All the units are identical. They are similar. The product is measured in terms of physical units. We are not talking about in the virtual form. That means this product is measured in terms of physical units. How we will understand this table? Here is output from four acres of land and there is, you can see, capital fixed factor. Both these things are land and capital is fixed, but labor is variable. So you can see here in this table, 
this is labor when we are using first labor, second, third, fourth, fifth, second, and eight labors. Total product, you can see total output is 8, 20, 36, 48, 55, 60, and 56. And you can say average product, average product, how we can get it, this number, 8 divided by 1, so that means 8 average product, 20 divided by 2, 10, 36 divided by 3, 12, and 40 divided by 4, 12, and 55, and so on. This number we are getting. Then we will come to the marginal product. How we will get the marginal means that particular specific labor is contributing. That means add-on. So this one is the total product is 8. That is marginal product is also 8. But 12 means there is marginal product means total product 20 out of 20 we will minus 8. So what we are getting 12. And 36 minus 20 then marginal product is 16. 48 minus 36, then we can get 12. And 55 minus 48, that is 7. And 60 minus 55, that is 5. And 60 minus 60, that is, we can say, that is 0. And 56 minus 60, you can say, that is in negative, minus. So, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. Stage 1 said, like, when your this one is average product is equal to marginal product that is stage 1. It is stage 1 from here is stage 1 is completed. Then stage 2 here is stage 2 means when marginal product will become 0. And stage 3 when this one is marginal product is minus 4. So we will discuss all these stages in the next video. And I'm sure this lecture would be helpful to you. And in the next video, we will understand how we can correlate this table with the curve. So thank you and keep watching. Stay tuned.